Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we'll try to understand how does the decision tree split happen for numerical variables. Now in my previous video, I have already shown with respect to the category variables, we have discussed about entropy, information gain. So this is a very, very important type when important question where many of you are actually asking that suppose Krish, if you have in your features, all the numerical variables, how do I actually do the decision tree split? So we'll try to understand this particular stuff and we'll try to understand it in a complete detailed manner. So let us go ahead and try to understand it. So over here, guys, I have an example where I have one feature one and I have my output variable. Now, in this feature one, you can see that I have actually written all the numbers in the short, sorted order. So remember, always remember for if your feature is basically a numerical variable, the first thing, if you want to perform a decision tree, the decision tree machine learning algorithm will basically be sorting all the values. Okay, sorting all the values. I'll tell you why, why it will be sorting and all, but just understand it will be sorting uh, all, all these particular numbers in an ascending order. Now the second step basically says that what you have to do is that it will try to consider some threshold values. Okay. So suppose for the first iteration, always remember guys decision tree with respect to numerical variables again will create multiple trees and then it will compare which is having the better entropy along with the information gain, whichever is having the highest information gain, it will be selecting that particular branch. But for that branch to happen, what it is going to do is that first of all, it is going to take the threshold value. Suppose I define my threshold value as 2.3 okay then what it is going to do is that it is going to check for each and every number x of i each and every record x of i or each and every value of this particular feature considering as x of i if this x of i is less than or equal to 2.3 it is going to create a branch so what it is doing i'm going to create take this particular root node and here there will be two paths because I just have output as binary classification, right? Now in this particular scenario, what it will do is that it will consider this particular scenario wherein the less than 2.3, less than or equal to 2.3 here will be my one branch and greater than 2.3 will be my another branch. Okay. Now in this particular scenario, if I see over here, my initially F1 had how many years? One, two, three, four four yes and one two three three four no's okay now what it is doing we are splitting this f1 based on this numerical feature the left side and again remember guys when i'm doing this kind of split the answers will be two only either yes or no okay so this is basically my scenario as yes this is the scenario as no okay so if it is less than or equal to 2.3 how many records do i have i just have one record so in this particular scenario i'll be getting one yes Okay, and if I see greater than 2.3, uh, then these are all are my records, right? So in this particular scenario, I just have one yes. So this will become one leaf node. But in this particular scenario, which is greater than 2.3, how many yes I have? One, two, three. So here I have three yes, and how many no's? One, two, three, four no's, right? So this will be my first split. Okay, now guys, it will just not stop over here. Okay. Now this is one type of threshold value. The next threshold will be considered this particular value 3.6 and again similar split will happen. Again similar split will happen. Okay. So when, when again split is happening here I have 4 yes and 4 no. Right. And this I may make, I can make it as 0 no's. Now first condition will be less than or equal to 3.6. So how many yes I have 2 yes and 0 no's. Right because I don't have any nose less than 3.6, right? Now in this particular case, what will happen is that I will have one yes and all nose, right? Now in order to compare between these two, which is better, which is how, how, we, how that particular split is going to happen, for this, a separate entropy will get calculated along with that information gain is also going to get calculated whichever is going to have the better information gain it may be entropy it may be uh, guinea impurity anything okay whichever is having the best value that particular branch will be taken that, that particular kind of split will be taken right that particular kind of split can be taken now in this particular scenario which will be the best split now similarly this kind of division will be happening for each and every feature that you have over here each and every xi values 
you know and then simultaneously entropy and information gain is actually calculated which is having the best entropy or information gain that kind of split will actually be taken and this is how things happen for a numerical variable but guys there is a disadvantage over here that you also need to think about that is basically suppose i have millions of records now in this particular scenario if you just see the time complexity right for performing this operation it is very very huge and this will keep on increasing as the number of records gets increased right so usually what happens is that decision tree when we are comparing with respect to numerical variables takes a lot of time for training and similarly this happens in the ensemble techniques also in the ensemble techniques like random forest xg boost where internal decision trees are used and you have many number of features at that time you'll be seeing that it will take more time for training right so the time complexity will be increasing as the input will be increasing so this is the disadvantage with respect to the decision tree split for numerical variables so i hope you understood this particular video i hope you like this particular video this is what is all about decision tree for numerical variables how the split actually happens so this is all about this particular video i hope you like it again guys please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye